The annual Cintron Pink Polo Tournament is memorable on so many levels, so let's enjoy some of the highlights of the most recent event. This prestigious charity event has combined horse-powered excitement with high fashion for eight years now, becoming one of the essential summer diary dates in the Cape Winelands. It's an opportunity for equestrians and social butterflies of all ages to show off their style at the start of the season and to have fun while supporting a truly deserving cause. Causes focusing on breast cancer awareness are close to my heart as I have had many family and friends affected by the disease. There are many wonderful organisations doing amazing things in aid of this, but my favourite has to be the Pink Polo. Guests were welcomed with warm hospitality arranged by the Estates Events MD. Simone, what makes the estate such a fitting location for an event like this? The estate's lovely because it's in the winelands, it's beautiful, a lot of fresh air. And I think what's special is it's summer, and summer is celebrated best, I believe, here in this valley. It's the first event in summer season, and hence I think it's just a perfect location. How has the concept of the pink polo evolved over the years? It started humbly with a high tea for 350 women, and now it's exploded into one of the biggest polo events on the South African calendar, and all in aid of a brilliant, brilliant cause, creating awareness for breast cancer. This event has become the highlight on everyone's social calendar. What do you think makes it so successful? There's very few polo fields in the world that can match this beauty. I think it's good that it's in the beginning of November. It's kind of the beginning of summer. People are excited to get out. It's quite light and fun and all for good cause. Kelsey, what makes your brand the perfect partner for an event like this? As a brand, we believe in giving back to local communities. We want to make money that actually makes change. So that's very important for us. We believe in paying it forward. It's very successful because it serves as a vocal platform for breast cancer awareness. And the event supports Pink Drive, which directly takes their mobile testing units into communities. The relaxed ambiance, the meticulous planning and execution of the event with canopies matching the elegance of the occasion. What would a fabulous event be without fantastic food? And today, we're certainly spoiled for choice. The tasty seasonal flavours, which is one of the attractions of the day, which also offered an opportunity to meet some of your favourite people. This year, I was super excited to find out that one of my biggest girl crushes, Mishka Patel, was going to be one half of an incredible emceeing duo. Mishka, so wonderful to see you again. What are your thoughts on polo with a purpose? I think this is absolutely incredible. I mean, I, I feel you can never get enough awareness when it comes to cancer, not only breast cancer awareness, but any form of cancer awareness. Chaba, you are the other half of this awesome duo. What do you love most about being part of this event? Today we're celebrating. We're celebrating those survivors with stories of triumph, hope and healing. And we need to show them that we love them and that they've done so well so far. Celebs gave the photographers a fun photo op before Rick Needling officially set the ball rolling. It's a real honour to welcome everybody here on behalf of all the V. Contemporary Afrobeats set the tone for a parade of casual styles with cool pastel florals alongside a summery selection of sky blue, lemon, bright green, cherry red and of course a range of pinks. Origins of polo can be traced back to ancient Persia, and the game in its present-day form was developed in the Indian city of Manipur. Originally, it was considered to be a form of cavalry training, and while it remains a test of horsemanship, hand-eye coordination and courage, today it's all about the thrill of the experience. There are four players in a team, and a match consists of six seven-minute time periods called chakas. Between matches, the spectators are invited to stroll around the fields, creating an opportunity to meet some old friends. Support for polo is growing and that the overall event and the cause behind it really is getting the much needed support. Loving it. SABC3 gave its wholehearted support. Events like this are very important because for me, I think it's events with a purpose. So 
It's about bringing awareness about uh, cancer. So I think as men, we think we're not affected, but most times we are affected. So it's very key that we test as men. It's great because you're actually doing it not just for the enjoyment, for people to watch and drink and be merry and have a great time, but all of this is going to a greater cause, which is really important. The matches had been fast and furious, and the winners deserved the trophy. But more importantly, the campaign against breast cancer had put across its message and received generous support. There couldn't be a more fitting way to end off the pink polo than with a beautiful pink sunset. Today has been absolutely amazing, but it's also raised much needed awareness for a worthy cause, proving that polo with a purpose is a winning combination.